Hey friends, how's it going? So as you may know, uh, NVIDIA just announced their 3070, 3080, and 3090 uh, round of graphics cards, uh, the 3000 series. Uh, so let's take a look here at the event. Uh, we're gonna go- Enjoy marbles at- these physics real-time physics of these that's awesome I, mean, I know it's just marbles but man it's just marbles is entirely path traced how, how just... no rasterization all real time yeah. wow there are hundreds of area lights including that's spherical awesome. area lights there's no pre-baking so awesome. everything is dynamic wow this is all dynamic lighting the depth of field hundreds is film of quality and that beautiful awesome and you still remain the detail. The, the detail still remains. Everything is dynamic. Diffuse GI, all dynamic. Wow. There are hundreds of rigid bodies. 80 the, million the lights, light Materials are physically accurate. Physics simulation and volumetric rendering in real time. That's awesome. It's pretty amazing. So, I mean, the LSS 2.0 is, is doing the super resolution, resolution and AI denoising. Yeah, I mean, the DLSS implementation is a huge deal um, because you can basically get, you know, I don't know, 4K detail on something that's, you know, if you're running 1440p. Um, so DLSS is a huge thing. Um, and Let's compare Marvel's Turing and Marvel's Ampere. You can see dramatic visual quality jump of Ampere. Marbles on Turing runs at 720p, oh, 25 just, frames just, per second. Tell, it's a huge difference. Marbles on Ampere runs at 1440p, wow. 30 frames per second. More than four times the performance. Wow. And Ampere even did area lights and depth of field. And just the, the whole scene is completely different. The lighting. Today's games are giant worlds, so indoor and out, with There's photogrammetry, so dense geometry, and lots of characters. Man. Games are over 200 gigabytes and getting bigger. This, this is like 50,000 songs or 400 hours of streaming video. Games have pushed PC, I.O. and file systems to the breaking point. CPUs copy files from disk and decompress the game image. This is fine when the storage system was slow, 50 to 100 megabytes per second. Now with Gen 4 PCI Express and solid state drives, PCs can transfer data at seven gigabytes per second, yeah, 100 I times faster. Just gotta... Just, CPU just copying PC, data to so memory and decompressing game images uh, so this is, is now the bottom. To see what they say for me. Decompressing data from 100 in megabytes per second hard drives takes only a few CPU four cores. PCs. However, decompressing from 7 gigabytes per second just SSDs games are still on PCIe Gen 3, 4 though. takes over 20 CPU cores. It's going to be a long while. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA RTX IO with three new advances. Okay. New IO APIs for fast loading and streaming directly from SSD to wow. GPU memory. GPU losses wow, decompression. That's huge and collaboration with Microsoft so on direct storage for Windows that streamlines the transfer of data from storage to GPU memory. Wow. With NVIDIA RTX IO, vast worlds will load instantly. That'd be interesting to see. Picking up where you left off will be instant. This is a very want, big I want to deal see, for next I want to see, gaming. now they should show some gameplay. Let game me show play, you Ampere in action uh, and one of the most that, anticipated you know, games that's one thing PlayStation did CD really Projekt well. Red Cyberpunk. Oh, sweet. This trailer is called Scenes of Cyberpunk okay. RTX. It shows ray trace reflections, Diffuse illumination, shadows, ambient occlusion, and DLSS 2.0. Enjoy. Oh man, look at that. There's so many lights in this game. Oh, wow, that's awesome. 
It's so cool. And the detail, yeah, the detail. There, I feel like there's so much detail in this game that the DLS, DLSS implementation is so important. Oh, look at that. Look at those scenes right there. I mean, they just look, they look so real. The shadows. Saw some robots there, and we'll we'll stop uh, this we'll stop this frame. I right, do a little frame by frame. That looks awesome. That's next gen gaming. That's gonna be, you know, here Ladies now and gentlemen, in November. Our new flagship GPU. This is perfect timing. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. For that's for sure. Powered by Ampere, second generation RTX architecture. Which would RTX be the game of the year. Probably the game of the past century. Uh, we'll see. See, there's a lot of great games that have come out. Twenty sixteen. Okay. This is cool. <laughs> it's cool to see the different breakdown. So I have a 2060 right now. Nice. Second gen RTX. It's a huge deal. Uh, that's going to be GDR6 and TPS. 234 tensor teraflops. RT teraflops, wow, man, I think the, it's like a 15, it's like 58 teraflops or 12, I think, for the Xbox, <laughs> they're going, if we use Xbox's metrics of teraflops, then this will absolutely dominate them, but <laughs> it's not even a, it's not a competition. Yeah, I think we've already kind of seen this pass through. Uh, and some leaks before this came out. It looks really good. I really like the design of it. Beautiful design. Very clean, modern. Looks good in the system. It looked good in my system. The NVIDIA RTX 3080. I have one right here. Let me show it to you. Oh man, it was just hidden back there, wasn't it? That's great. It is beautiful. <laughs> and then the 50 spatulas. Who needs 50 spatulas? The RTX 3080. It is wonderfully crafted. It's going to look beautiful in your PC. It does look good. Yeah, and it now, lights up. This, this will work. Now, with let me tell Gen you about 3. some of the other exciting technologies um, inside. You know, so you don't need to upgrade your motherboard. Turing used G6, the fastest memories at that time. The industry thought that was the limit. For Ampere, we had to push through that limit. Working with Micron, we designed the world's first memories with PAM4 signaling, pulse amplitude modulation, neat. with neat. four voltage levels that encode two bits of data each. Zero, 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 just one, going nine, from, zero, one, Just one. going from G6 each voltage to G6 step X is only looks. 250 millivolts. So in the same period of time, G6X can transmit twice as much data as G6. PAM4 is extreme signaling technology, and it's just becoming used in high-speed networking. The Ampere Thermal Architecture is the first ever flow-through design, oh, that's so cool. working harmoniously with Works PC with chassis cooling fan. system, pulling yeah. in cool air from the outside, nice. flowing through the GPU, and pushing hot air really straight good. out so the chassis. So this is their custom. They to finally, allow room for a fan to flow air instead directly of going through for a module, reference design, our engineers architect a super a dense custom PCB design, design their that is 50% so. smaller than previous while adding the bigger Ampere GPUs, I think they did a good job. HDMI 2.1, PCI Express 4.0, and G6X. There are two independently controlled fans. The bracket front fan pulls cool air from the bottom and pushes the heated air out nice. through the graphics card brackets. A backside pull-through fan okay. passes cool air over the fins of the heat pipe and directs the hot air to the top and back of the chassis to be exhausted by the system fan. The 3080 yeah, flow through looks, system looks like is really three times quieter design, and keeps sure. the GPU 20 degrees cooler than the quieter. Turing design. It wow. can cool 90 watts more than Turing. The generational leap wow. is ultimately the most important factor of new GPUs. 
That's a awesome. significant technology advance is needed to inspire content developers to create the next level of content and for the install base to upgrade. Let's see how the 3080 stacks up to previous generation architectures on the so latest graphics intensive games. 2060, just a little bit. 3080 is faster than 2080 Ti. Oh my gosh. 3080 is twice the performance of 2080 at the same wow. price. That's Ampere huge. is the biggest generational leap we've ever had. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, that chart Nvidia tells it all GeForce right there, man. RTX 3080, our new flagship wow. GPU. So for seven Powered by Ampere, our second generation RTX wow. GPU architecture. Twice the twice incredible amounts of processing in the shader. Twice the 2080. RT ray tracing core for the same price. And That's Tensor awesome. For processing AI, 10 gigabytes of G6X. Twice the Dang, processing power great, of 2080. I don't think anybody really expected same price, it to be this great. Starting at 699. Available September 17th. Okay, 30 shader telephops. One of our most yeah. popular GPUs is the 70 series. 10 gigabytes. 970, 1070, 2070 were all hugely popular. Man, You're going to love the new awesome. RTX 3070. 700 bucks. Faster than the 2080 what? Ti. The Turing Enthusiast GPU priced at $1,200. That's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, the new GeForce oh RTX goodness. 3070. Let me show it to you. What? For 500 bucks? Faster than a 2080 It's a work of art. 20 oh shader gosh. teraflops. 40 RT oh, teraflops. Man. It'd be really interesting. And 163 to see how these compare to the consoles. AI processing. Because for a With past couple of months, it's been like, consoles are better RTX than PC. Consoles are better than what you can get in PC right now. faster than the $1,200 um, RTX 2080 Ti. Yeah, they were. Starting it, it, at $499. It was absolutely true. The new Available consoles were for early 500 bucks. Every and, generation, oh, we're packing our just, best ideas to This is what we all needed, for while sure. We're introducing new features that enhance image quality. Every couple Compared of generations, the, consoles, the stars align. Maybe, maybe 600 Pascal, bucks. And we get a giant can, generational leap. I think you can Pascal get close was known to... As the perfect 10. Uh, you may be able Pascal to get... Pascal was a huge success and set a very Close to a PC. Bar. It took the super family of Turing if to you get some good sales, Pascal get close to a PC that can match the consoles. With ray tracing turned on, almost Pascal, using programmable shaders to compute ray triangle intersections, fell far behind Turing's RT core. And Turing with ray tracing on... Because people with the 20 series cards the same right performance now, as Pascal oh, I bet they're turning with ray tracing those. off. On a technical basis, this was a huge achievement. The images are far more beautiful, makes, makes and reflection difference. and shadow artifacts yeah. are gone. But the RT, but gamers I mean, want it more. They want yeah. every generation to be more realistic, first, first and generation higher frame rate at the same time. So we double down on everything: twice the shader, wow. twice the ray tracing, and twice the tensor core. 4K, the triple double, 60 FPS. Ampere so that means I can do 1440p at 1080. And even with ray tracing on. It's exactly, it seems it's gonna be perfect. Exactly, to all my what I Pascal needed. gamer friends, uh, for it my is PC, safe to upgrade now. Amazing ray tracing games are coming. I have an ultra wide developer trailer. Uh, are launching a new Call of Duty on November 13th. 1440p. It's a masterpiece, and, and it looks I held incredible. off, obviously, their dynamic um, lights, held ray off on tracing, the 2080 shadows, and ambient occlusion. DLSS 2.0. To try to get an NVIDIA the, Reflux the, super low latency. The, the best technology. graphics card that's The last fit Call that of Duty monitor, sold an amazing 30 million copies. Activision put together this trailer of never before seen footage. Oh, Enjoy. sweet. Okay. I did see the reveal trailer of this game, and it looks really cool. They just kind of showed some like historical. They just kind of the, the, showed some historical documents and stuff like that for Cold War. This looks interesting. Wow. Yeah, look at the reflections on the, the glasses. Ooh. That's really good. Could use more detail on some of the textures. Especially like on the desk area and stuff. But the RT elements look really good. It looks really good. Yeah, with, Let me I mean, talk with this announcement, I think it's going to make you Several huge years difference. ago, we started building the Titan, pushing the GPU to the absolute limit to create the best graphics card of that generation. It was built in limited quantities and only through NVIDIA. The distribution was limited. The demand surprised us. Creatives were making 4K movies, rendering cinematics, 
Researchers built workstations yeah, for want, data science people want and AI. Top Bloggers they built can broadcast it, workstations. They'll, they'll flight and racing simulation even, fans Even if you don't race. need it, it's there is just, clearly it's something a need about having for a giant the best GPU you can get that is available all over the world. That a lot of people. Will so buy. we made a giant Ampere. Ladies and gentlemen, they can afford it, they'll the do it. RTX 3090. 3090. <laughs> is, is this what he was talking about in the oven when his announcement? That's funny. Alrighty. Man, that looks huge. 3090 is a beast. A ferocious GPU. A BF GPU. 36 <laughs> shader BFG. teraflops. Yes. 69 <laughs> RT teraflops. Oh, 285 man. Tensor teraflops. Gaming. And it oh, comes with a massive GPU, right? 24 like gigabytes of G6X. 24 gigabytes of G6X. It comes with a G6X. A three all. slot That's dual axle lot. flow through design. 10 times wow. quieter. And keeps the GPU 30 degrees cooler That's than the huge. Titan RTX design. But there's more. The 3090 is yeah, so big that for the very first time, we can play games at 60 frames per second in 8K. Wow. This is insane. That is because insane. it's impossible for us to show you what it looks like on the screen. Just kinda, we invited uh, some friends to check it out. <laughs> I Roll mean, a lot of people have seen it, though. A lot of people have 8K, actually. I mean, not a lot of people. Hi. Some people have 8K. Andy and it's definitely not needed, but almost all the TV Ooh. manufacturers are making 8K now. Like that's all I've never been more they're starting to make. So. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! This is f***ing incredible, dude. This is wow. amazing. There's a lot of detail. Oh, the control! I love control. It's silly. That's, my, control is god. such a great game. Because you wear and tear on the treads. I just Look finished it, and Why I actually. I lost my save, so I, have to be, I had to beat it again. So I just right, 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 right. move fast and shoot things. This is 8K, um, sir. I can see everything. And now about to play the expansions. Oh, I need to shoot you, though. Not a whole lot of totally people have seen something like this. And, this is so you know, realistic. I feel like I'm really in start. battle. This is insane. Die! I want to look at the pretty things. There we go. <laughs> Wait, the ray tracing is insane. I don't know what. These are the I don't, think, I don't know. Say. Control is such such heavy. And then it's like it'll never look like it's that. It's probably you're probably running that at like thirty. <laughs> I'm like looking Very across the vistas. Okay, so let's go through some of the charts. Marble presentation was really good. Let's just watch the, um, just some highlights. So this was very interesting. You know, you definitely, you totally skip a step um, from, you, you skip like three steps really. Um, this is very interesting. So you, instead of going into, um, from the PCIe to CPU to system memory, uh, you're completely skipping the CPU and the system memory, which is a huge deal. Then to the PCIe to GPU to GPU memory. Wow, that's a huge deal. That that's I mean that you can see the drastic drop there, um, and it's basically you know lossless data. Um, that's which is awesome. And I do want to break down this cyberpunk demo here real quick. Enjoy. Because this looks awesome. Oh man, just look at this world that they built. And at night, I mean, it, RTX is going to make huge difference at night in this world. Because one, there's it's it's a cyberpunk world, so which means futuristic, a lot of neon. You know, think of um, Blade Runner, uh, Blade Runner-esque. This is what the, they want to, to put in there at night. This is one that they want it to feel like. I mean, you have so many lights going on. I mean, the lights in the buildings to all the advertising lights. Wow, it's just awesome. You can see here, look at, look at all this. And you see the reflections here, reflections on the cars. Man, this is just gonna, this be awesome. Awesome with ray tracing. Uh, it's just very, gonna be a very heavy game for any system. Uh, so it's awesome that the, uh, new cards are coming out <laughs> we'll see how those the new cards compare to uh the consoles it's gonna i think it's gonna be a huge difference and and the great thing is that cd project red built this around pc um and so there's going to be a slight upgraded uh portion of the game for at console launch this is going to be slightly upgraded and then there's a future upgrade going to happen with to match the next generation consoles uh but you're getting next gen gaming right here and now when this game comes out in november which 
and if, if you do have one of these new graphics cards, if you can get your hands on one of them. Man, just look at this. This is just awesome. So, ray tracing. so you can see all the rays. Wow. This is, the I think, a brain dance studio um, at Lizzie's Bar. Wow, so many, there's so many lights and so many colors. It, it, it's gonna make, it would make a huge difference to have the have the RT features on and off. So I, I wonder how closely they worked with um, NVIDIA on these. Oh man, that's right there. Let's go back to this new stuff right here. Look at that, look at that reflection. And you can see like perfect color, uh, you know, on the reflection makes a huge difference. Just having that and then imagine not having that there and how, how different it would change the scene and the realistic aspect of it. Uh, because that's the whole goal of, of real-time ray tracing is to make it feel like you are more immersed in the world and that things that happen in the world actually look like they would happen in real life. See the reflections off of the bullets, off of the bullets there. Man, sparks, That's good. the illuminations off of those. And the shadows, you can see shadow detail. So obviously this is a motion. And you still have the detail of the guns. Like look at this barrel. Barrel is hot, is heated up from all the bullets. It's, it's been put through it. Yeah, the reflections. That's a huge deal in this world because you get any, and if you have like, you know, an acid rain or something like that, that's gonna be a huge deal to see if you want those reflections. Oh, wow. That hallway is big. Look at this, wow. That's really cool. That, I mean, it just looks like a real hallway that you would walk down. Oh man, you got the, the the light coming in from the trees here. And this side of the tree is lit and this side is not. It definitely tells you, I can, I bet you that the game, uh, that the sun is an actual uh, light source in this game. Um, and it, it makes a huge deal. You could see, yeah, the reflections off of some of these holes here, you know, in the structure, in the broken structure. Wow, that's gonna make a huge difference. The day and night cycle on this is gonna be huge to gameplay. Diffuse illumination. Wow. Yeah, I mean, just look at the, the amount of advertising and things that are in this world and you still have the detail, the textures. Done a really good job. And, and you have, in this world, also you have holograms, you know, that's a futuristic world. You have holograms and, uh, you know, touch, touch screens and stuff like that. And Oh, it almost looks like this poster has a luminous effect of it. And right here, you can see the lights, you know, it's lit up because the lights are pointing this way. And it, oh, wow, makes a huge, huge deal, huge deal. Um, obviously, with things in motion, that's, that's going to be the difference. And you can see some shadows here, Shambi shadows and ambient occlusion. Look at this part of the world. <laughs> Man, that's so cool. Because this is a, this game is going to be based in Southern California, so interesting to see that. Oh, this is such a cool robot, uh, King Tao robot. Okay, so King Tao is uh, one of the major main weapons manufacturers of Cyberpunk world, and you can see, yeah. So the the sun is definitely uh, the main light source in this world, um, along with all the other light sources. So you've got the ribbon here. Um, you know, caution, <laughs> don't get away. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. It's a huge, you still get, so, you definitely lose some detail in some of the shadows. Uh, they obviously they have things to work on. Uh, there's only so much you can do, but you know, you're pulling out all the detail for this character. It's just really neat. Could see the luminous from the bullets. Wow. They've done so much work to this. 
you know, from from what the police used to look like, from the in, in, in CPD used to look like. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Caught that at a bad time, I guess. But you can see, wow, that's a cool explosion. Destructive environment, looks like. Okay, so then we look at this chart to see where they're... I'm sitting about right here, um, I think. And for the 20, 2060. Oh, that's the 20, sorry, that's the 2070 Super. So I am like, not exactly sure where the 2060 sits on here, uh, but I'm probably down here, right here. So this is just such a great price performance. I mean, I think we expected, you know, for the 2080s to be, you know, maybe down here in this range. I think they gave us you know, twice the performance a lot of people were expecting. Faster I than the expecting. 2080 Ti. Yep, that's a huge deal there. You know, the 3070, a lot of people are probably gonna get the 3070. That's about the range what people look for. Uh, you know, $500 for a graphics card. Uh, and that's a huge deal. That's a huge deal that the, the, the 3070 is at a 2080 Ti level. Okay, this is the, the chart that, you know, is gonna affect me. And I think a lot of people wanna look at. So obviously this is 4K, you know, 4K 60 up here. Um, I think that's what a lot of the consoles and stuff are claiming and going for, uh, but I don't think they're gonna be able to do that with the RT features on and everything like that. This is with the RT features on and, uh, you know, details and things like that. Uh, so that's gonna be a huge, the, the huge difference. You, know, you can have, there's multiple RT features, uh, you know, maybe five selections per game or something like that. And sometimes, you know, right now I can only have two of those features on, um, you know, different lighting effects and things like that. Um, I'm assuming this is for the, with the full range of RT features. So right now I am like, yeah, I'm definitely below this mark of 1440p 60. Um, I'm definitely around a 1080, something like that. Uh, because it depends on what, depends on which game you, you're playing. Um, Control is actually a very good game and one I've been playing for a while and I can kind of test that out and see. Now I, I, do about 1440p ultra wide uh, I get about 50 frames per second right now on that and uh, that's only with two of the RT features on and things set to about medium to high depending on what setting it is um, so hopefully my 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 desire is to get that 34 inch ultra wide 1440p monitor um, to be able to do 120. So you basically, if you want to do 120, you can you know, cut these in half, uh, 4K, 60, you know, to, you can basically do 4K, 4K, or sorry, 1440p at 120 FPS, instead of 4K, 60, you can get that level. So it looks like about any card, any, any game, the uh, 3080 will handle, you know, your 1440p, uh, 120 frames per second. So I think that's where I'm probably going to hit the mark is with the 3080. Um, I think that's, I'm going to have to go to that level to get what I want for the long term uh, to take advantage, full advantage of my uh, 120 hertz monitor. So I think that's what's going to be the level for me. So let me know what you think and what, what level you are. Um, where, where you where, where you're gonna go I'm sure a lot of people are gonna go for the 3070 uh, so it's gonna be a huge difference there it's gonna be it's a huge huge leap for a great price that's that's for sure so I think that about covers it thanks for watching and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new round of graphics cards I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up a like uh, for this video and subscribe for more great content thanks